So the selling is taking place at Weymouth and Portland down in Dorset. It's going to be a really interesting regatta. Different conditions down there, sometimes it's very windy, sometimes it's just light breezes, rain, sunshine, you can expect anything down there. The British team have got really good hopes of doing well. Where else can we start? We have to talk about Ben Ainsley, best British Olympic sailor of all time. He's won three gold medals and one silver medal. I was speaking to him a couple of weeks ago about that silver medal and it still rankles with him. He's still angry he didn't win gold that day. He's 35 now. His body's beginning to give up a bit. He admits that. He takes part in the Finn class. This is a heavyweight dinghy, so physical strength is very important. But his determination is still there. The will to win is very much still there. Our other British man who races alone in a boat is called Paul Goodison. He's in the laser class. This is a lighter boat, very popular, used all over the world. Again, he's a steely character, really determined. He's won gold at Olympics before, and he's had the dis disappointment of just missing out. He's looking to use both of those experiences to make sure he's on the podium again this year, and he'll be going for gold again this year. I saw him a few weeks ago come off the water after a regatta down in Weymouth, and he thought the Australians had worked together to edge him out. He was furious. He'll be making sure that doesn't happen again. Now onto the star class, we've got a couple of very experienced campaigners, Ian Percy and Andrew Simpson. Andrew's always called Bart, inevitably. These two very old friends, good friends of Ben Ainsley as well. They've known each other for many years. They've got three gold medals between them. They won gold at Beijing together, and they'll be hoping to do the same again at Weymouth. Uh, On to the women. In the 470 class, we've got a couple of interesting competitors, Hannah Mills and Saskia Clark. Now, these two haven't been together for that long. Saskia competed at the Beijing Olympics and missed out on a medal. After that, she was looking for a new partner. She trialled with several others, became a bit of a soap opera within the team, and then she fastened on Hannah Mills. Hannah's a, a younger woman, only just come through, come through the junior ranks, hugely promising, and they've started to do very well. They had a string of second places earlier in the year, and then in Barcelona, they won gold in the World Championships. They're a great combination, they work really well together. They'll be going for gold again in Weymouth. Another interesting competition for this Olympics will be the women's match racing. This is different to most of the other sailing. Most of the other boats go out in big fleets. In this, it's one-on-one -on -one sailing. Our team here is one to keep an eye on. Our two sisters, Kate and Lucy McGregor, and their friend Annie Lush. They'll attract a lot of attention. The match racing is also taking place close to the spectator area, so they'll be able to hear the roar of the crowds as they compete. Should be a lot of fun. Finally, we come to the windsurfing. This will be one which could be very good for Team GB. We've got two very experienced competitors, Nick Dempsey and Brian Shaw. Both have won bronze medals in the past. Both will be hoping to do better this time. It's also going to be a very poignant competition, this one. It's the last time, possibly, that windsurfing will be held in the Olympic Games. It may get kicked out for Rio in favour of kite surfing. So this is their last chance to win windsurfing gold. Team GB has topped the medal table in sailing for the past three games and they'll be hoping to do that again. They have the capability to do so, I think. They've set a, a target of four medals, but what they've said interestingly is that for the first time they think they've got sailors capable of winning a medal in each of the categories. It's the first time they've said that, so that four may be a little conservative.